the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. A reading from 1 Corinthians 10. All things are lawful, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful, but not all things build up. Let no one seek his own good, but the good of his neighbor. Eat whatever is sold in the meat market without raising any question on the ground of conscience, for the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. If one of the unbelievers invites you to dinner and you are disposed to go, eat whatever is set before you without raising any question on the ground of conscience. But if someone says to you, This has been offered in sacrifice, then do not eat it for the sake of the one who informed you and for the sake of conscience. I do not mean your conscience, but his. For why should my liberty be be determined by someone else's conscience? If I partake with thankfulness, why am I denounced because of that for which I give thanks? So whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Give no offense to Jews or to Greeks or to the Church of God, just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking my own advantage, but that of many, that they may be saved. Be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. You are free. In Christ you are free to live as a new creation, brought out of darkness and into his wonderful light. There is no condemnation in Christ, for you are not under the law, but under the gospel. Christ is the end of the law, so that by faith you may receive his righteousness. The God of Sinai has given way to the God of Calvary. Heaven is your future. So do not live in fear that somehow you will mess up. Live in joy that God has saved you. Do not be driven by the law. Live in the freedom of the gospel. Do not live timidly. Live boldly. For Christ, your gracious master, has reconciled God to you and you to God. You are free. You are free in Christ from the law's harsh demands. But freedom is not doing whatever you desire. Freedom is glorifying God, and God is glorified when you seek the well-being of others. What is helpful for them? What builds them up? What do they need? Imitate Christ, who did everything for fallen man and nothing for himself. For in his self-sacrificing service, God is glorified. So for the Corinthians, this meant eating whatever was put in front of them, even if they were a Jew. And if they were a Greek eating whatever they ate, without complaining. For us, this means understanding different personalities and cultures and the traditions of others. We cannot force our preference on them. We live for them, not for ourselves. We are free to live as they live, eat what they eat, dress as they dress, provided these things are not sinful. Let us go out of our comfort zones for others. For the gospel is not about a new set of laws to follow or making everyone look or eat like us. The gospel is to release poor sinners of every tribe, language, nation, and peoples from the law's harsh demands, even as we have been set free. Show them that freedom, even as you live in that freedom. For the earth is the Lord's in all its fullness. He has won it back by the cross and reconciled it to you through the forgiveness of sins. So partake of all things with joy, for they are all gifts from God. God has set you free, so that you may live with others and for others. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, through the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus, you have released us from the law's condemnation to live holy lives before you. Keep us from all things harmful, and lead us to live in love to all those around us, so that your name is glorified. In Jesus' name, amen.